Well, thanks for joining me again today. Now, what I've got here is the, um, this is the Flymo Maxi Trim Strimmer. It's not starting properly. It's a real basic bit of kit, two stroke, pull cord start. It's getting on a bit now, but it's been dead reliable over the years. It does have a little issue with the choke system. It's been playing up for a, well, for a couple of years and I've fiddled with this and just get it running. I did strip down the carburetor a good few years ago. It's time to do it again. One of the little jets or the air holes has got a blockage, which is now making it, it will it'll only run on full choke pretty much or just off full choke. So this is what we get here. So to start it up normally, you'd push the choke lever you push the choke lever down, we switch on the start button and then we give it a tug and it self primes and starts. Once it's fired up, we'll just then pull the choke back mid, once it's fully warm, off with the choke. So um, what we've had, well last year mainly, when I was using it last year, I was having to run it at mid all the time. You couldn't get it off a full choke. It was always running at mid, uh, mid choke. Let's strip it down, let's give it a good clean. Let's get the carb off it. We'll clean the carb out, we'll go through the little jets and stuff. And uh, hopefully, we'll get it running. We need it to start. Oh, I don't want to be faffing. I hate pulling on this and yanking it and yanking it and it not firing up. I'll show you exactly what it's like at the minute and why it ain't starting. Let's just give it a quick tug and you'll see what it's like. It's stone cold at the minute, I've not fired it up. We've got fuel in there. You know, doing the gardening's back breaking enough as it is without having to uh, yank one of these to bits trying to get it started, give yourself a pulled muscle or something. But uh, I'll just show you how crap it is. So we're turned on, we've got that on choke at the minute. Let's go for it. Whoa, nearly had something. I'll just back it off, choke a tad. <coughs> oh, trying, trying. I just back it off the choke slightly. I'm pressing the accelerator a little bit here. So as I'm pressing the accelerator, I can see what I'm doing. So as I use the accelerator to try and rev it up, it's not doing a great deal. I back it off the choke slightly. I'm on full throttle now. As you can see, if I if I bring it off a choke, it's on that's mid choke and that's pretty much fully what I'm being able to use it at the moment, like that. It's not hitting the revs and it's running really sluggish. If I move it up, it just it just dies. It can't cope with it. So let's strip that carb down, see if we can clean out those jets and get it running properly. Let's get it up onto the table where we can uh, attempt to do something with it. It's a bit windy today, so I'm gonna to have to try and clamp this sheet down. Otherwise, uh, when I put stuff down, it's gonna blow everywhere. I hope the sound doesn't get too corrupted. I've got my um, little lav mic on, so hopefully it will stop the wind noise as best as possible. Let me just get something just to clamp this, uh, clamp this cloth down and then we'll crack on with stripping it down. Right, and I've got a couple of little tools just to be getting on with. Um, I've got the bit box, I've got a screwdriver, a couple of screwdrivers there. Right then, so first things first, let's let's uh, let's get in here. We've got the air filter within this little shrouding at the back here. And uh, let's have a look in the bit box, see what size we've got there for the air filter. And uh, looking at these, they're little Torx bits. 
There we go. So those ones on this one are a TX25. So we'll chuck that in the end of the screwdriver. And let's whiz that off the back there. Two screws holding that on. And then we can pull the air filter off there. And inside here is the foam air filter. Now then, we can have a look at what, to be fair, it's starting to go all, yeah, it's disintegrating. It's all disintegrating. So that needs to come out and be replaced. This is probably half the problem. Over time, the foam just goes really, really brittle. And you see this now, how it's, look at that, it's just falling to bits just pulling apart and these tiny tiny little bits of foam are most probably been sucked into the carburetor and uh, causing us problems now we can we can buy this this foam stuff um, off of the internet off of ebay amazon it's dead cheap so we'll get a strip of that and we'll bang that in as well just something you can use as a really good substitute is scotch bright so what we can do is just measure out a strip of scotch bright and we'll just get it to about there we know we need a bit on the end so i'll just cut a slice of that out there something along those lines this stuff's really good because it's oil resistant let's clean any rubbish off this but it's oil resistant and uh, and it's it's quite porous so uh, the air is going to travel through it but it's enough to catch any bits and bobs that we need and we can chuck that into the into the filter housing there right. and i'll go for the whole width and double it up so it's a nice strip of about that much all the way down because of the thickness we want it slightly thicker we fold that up double there like that and then run it run it all the way around there we go we've got ourselves a nice makeshift filter in there now okay right and back to the carburetor this is literally just mounted on with two screws straight through and into the plastic so as soon as i take these two screws out this whole plate and the carb is going to come away We've got the fuel line going into it, a tiny, tiny little fuel line, bless it, look, <laughs> little baby line. So these are held on with uh, your normal cross-headed screws. So let's get that in there and pop that out. And you can see, if I show you that from the side, you can see those screws going right the way through the body and into this plastic housing. Now obviously this one's got the choke lever attached to it with a little spring washer as well, so we've got to be careful we don't lose that. I can just hold that together while I, while I remove the screws. Look at them suckers, like giant self-tappers. And so this one's got the spring washer for the the choke lever as well so we'll make sure we we keep all that intact there so we'll drop that down can you see those i'm picking up some crap here lot. i've got some crap on the work so let me just brush that off because i don't want that getting in there once i start to clean it okay uh yeah we're all good right and so let's pull that plate off now so we've got the we've got the plate which is going to go there and then here we are with this little dinky dinky carburetor all we've got in there is a little gasket a throttle cable coming down the side and the fuel line going into it there so what we can do is just pop the fuel line off just go make sure we don't get fuel everywhere if i just pull that there she comes oh, oops it is it he says as it squirts out lot a bit of pressure in the tank There we go, just relieve the pressure in the tank lot and that stop that squirting out. It's because the sun's shining on this hot black top, it's just made it go a bit warm. 
give us a bit of a, yeah, like the heat's warming that up straight. I might have to leave that loose just so it, uh, it's not going to stop us, it's going to siphon effect and come down. I might have to just put a, um, a little screw in the end of that, stop it, uh, stop it squirting out. What have we got? Is there anything here? Nah, don't know, I'm going to shove that back in there a second. Let's try that, see if that's big enough. I don't know if it's going to be. Yeah, there we go. So just shove that screwdriver in the end of that. That'll stop his leak. Right, and, and if you saw that pop out then, the cable for the speedo, for the throttle, it just literally goes through that bracket and is held on like that. So you just pull it out and pop it out there. And then his little carburetor is now hanging where we want it. So we can actually have a good look at this now and see what's going on. So the way this works, it's got a little diaphragm in the top behind this, behind this plate that, that vibrates and creates a suction. So as the air is drawn through the Ventura, the, the pulsation of the, of the engine, because it's a two-stroke, you get like a wave. That wave creates a, a pulsation on this little diaphragm, which helps pump the fuel into the, into the carburetor. It just draws it, draws it in. So let's give this a quick wipe down. We shouldn't have to adjust the screws, but basically what you've got, the bottom one is your, is your idle screw. So as you can see that just, the more that comes through, the further it pushes the throttle open. It's on a taper. And the second one is your fuel trim. So that's your mixture screw. So the further out you pull it, the richer it runs, the further in you screw it, the leaner it gets. Okay, so what is going on? What is going on? Why is it playing up? We've got these two little holes here. We've got a little idle bypass inside there. So usually on this one here, I don't know if you can see that there, there's a tiny, tiny, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little hole there. That, if anything's gonna get blocked up, it's gonna be that one. It is absolutely minute, look. Such a small little hole. So we're gonna blow carb cleaner in there. If you haven't got, I'm gonna put compressed air. If you haven't got compressed air, you can use carb cleaner. And let's blow that through there and see if it makes a difference. We'll blow into all the, all the holes that we've got. Now I'm wary of taking the top off it because I don't want to split the, this, the diaphragm that's inside there. I shouldn't need to. That bit shouldn't have any dirt in it. it should, that shouldn't be a problem unless it's actually split, but it is running uh badly so i don't think we've not got a fuel uh delivery issue if you like into the carb it's more about the jetting that's going through it we can take this one out if we need to but what we've got to do is count the turns as it comes out so at the minute it's upright so we can get back to exactly where it is when we when we need to put it back in again oh my shaky hand So let's count them as we come out. So we've got half a turn, one turn, half a turn, two turns, half a turn, three turns, half a turn, four turns, half a turn, five, half a turn, there we go, and it's out. So there's his little needle jet. We can blow in there as well. So we'll leave that there. So five turns on that. Okay, so I've got uh, some comma carb cleaner. It's not bad stuff. And like I said, let's get it into the, uh, get it into all the orifices inside here. We'll go through the jet at the top. You can see that coming out inside. Oh, no, I don't lose that. Uh, we've got a little washer there with a the seal on it. We don't want to lose those. We'll put those there. Whoa, don't blow everything off the table. Um, yes, like I was saying, if I put that in there and then give it a... You see that's coming out there nicely now. So we know that's all clean inside. 
And then in this side here, that little jet hole at the top there, we need to make sure we get in there. Open the throttle up and blow some through the throttle. We can also come in through the... Try and get something through that nozzle there as well, through the feed. And we can give it just a really good clean down anyway while we're here. rub that down looking good now if you've got an airline you can actually blow really get at this now get into all those little nooks and crannies If you've got a compressor, it does make life so much easier. It really does. Great for cleaning little bits and bobs. Open that throttle up. Right, I think that should do us. Like I was saying, compressed air is amazing. If you can pick up a little compressor. I know um, there, was, uh, there was one in Aldi, uh, cheap. You can get them from Screwfix, obviously off Amazon. Um, and they're not that expensive now. You can get them for less than 100 quid. That's, uh, you know, good for, for blowing out, good for cleaning Hoover filters. That's what I use it for a lot. I mean, daft as it sounds, the one I use it for the most is probably when I've had a haircut. I, you know, literally blow all the hair off my body. It's just crazy, isn't it? Things you do. Right, and let's get this little, this uh, mixture screw back in again. So we've got the rubber seal, got the little rubber seal, and we've got the jet, and it was five turns, wasn't it? So let's get this going back in again. We'll start it at the top, and we want five turns. So here we go. Half one half two half three half four half five okay right so that's that in there And I'm just going to come back a tad. I'm going to come back to four and a half just to, just for the hell of it. All right, and okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what she's like. Let's see what it's like when we get it back in again. So everything there looks good and clean. Let's come back up to the, up to the uh, machine, and we'll get the throttle cable in first. So that is going to go through like that, and then twist it down like that there it is that's in nicely okay right and now we're ready to line that up again let's get the uh, the fuel line back in again pull my screwdriver out of there and we'll pop that back on again there there we go Ooh. 
that's nicely back on again. Right, let's get that lined up where it needs to be. And then we've got as uh, let's give this a quick clean down as back plate and as so I'll just give that a quick a quick rubbing down. And this rag's got loads of carb cleaner on it now as well, so it's uh, it's great for, for cleaning up. Okay, right, and that's nicely cleaned up. And then we'll go with that screw first because uh, we'll get that through the whole lot. That's the one with nothing on it. And then the second one, which is we've now got, we've got all the washers, the spring washers and everything on there that we need. That's going through the choke arm and then through the body and the back plate and then into the back in through there. And that carburetor will just line itself up as we screw this back on again. And just make sure it's sitting nice, just give it a little, a little wiggle. Make sure that's through the locator there. And then just nip that up. And same with this side. So you can see all the choke is doing. It's pulling up this flap and shutting off the air intake. It's got a tiny, tiny little hole in there. So when it's on full choke, it's literally drawing loads of fuel through and a tiny, tiny little bit of air. This has been running at, well, anything half choke there and it's just making it run richer. So um, yeah, that's, that's that sorted, we're back in there. Let's get his uh, new makeshift air filter back on again. Like I say, I'll order a, a new foam, but in the meantime, Scotch Bright is a brilliant substitute because it, it is very porous and uh, lets a lot of air through and it's not oil, it won't, de it won't deteriorate with oil. So let's get that back on again. I'll just swap over his, his end. I'll put a link in the description for the new filter and carb cleaner. Just nip that back up again, we're not going to go mad on that. There we go. Lovely. The other thing we're going to do now is just uh, check the spark plug. So if we just rotate this down and make sure that lid's on tight on the top. All right, so if we just rotate it round, and on the base here, we've got the little spark plug. So we just pull the wire off, pull the lead off it like that. And then I just go and grab a spark plug spanner and we can take that off off the end there okay so we've just literally got a um, this is a 13 16 spark plug spanner we just drop that on there and then we whiz that out of there and now we've got this little spark plug and as you can see this one it's nice and tidy, it's, the tip's not worn and we've got a gap there, we've got a little gap. Now don't get too hung up on your gap. I'd say that's about one and a half mil, something like that. As long as there's a, a as long as there is a small gap there, yeah, it's gonna fire, it's gonna fire. If it's massive, it ain't gonna work. And if, if, if the little tip in the middle is rounded, if it's got rounded edges on it, no spark plug needed. But that looks pretty good. Let's get that back in again. Now these are tiny little threads, so we only need to do this up gently. We don't need to go mad on it. So just a little nip, like so. And then let's get that back in there. Right, let's try it and see. Let's get it on the floor. 
right and there we go so we're off the table back on the deck we're switched on let's go for some choke to start with and uh, it's going to take some pulling because the carb's empty so I, it might well we'll see Give it a full choke, so we can draw some through. And you can tell by the change in the compression stroke there that we've got too much fuel going in. Back it off a bit. Great the way we're, we're off choke though, and it's running. So we've definitely done something. It wasn't running at all without any choke, and now we're off. So. Look at that idling with no choke on. So straight away we know we've shifted that dirt that was in there. We're not getting a lot of full off at the minute. And then the engine's cold, so give it a chance to warm up. And hopefully it will start to light up a bit more. What we can also do is, uh, we'll alter the fuel trim. We can back that off a little bit, which I think we might need to do. We might need to just richen it up slightly. I think it's just running a bit lean. Let's give it a little bit more fuel. Right then. That's off on its own. So what we'll do is we'll come into that screw in the side on the top. Just going to give it half a turn out. Well, I could go quarter turn to start with. Just a bit more. All right, that's half a turn. smoking a bit I think we're running well, I think it's uh, let's just try uh, leaning it off a bit let's go, go in a bit I think that's running rich now right so that's a half turn that's the full there we go there we go actually I did screw it back uh, I put it back together I gave it half a turn didn't I so that's that is now back to where we were right at the start. Yeah. So it is, it's there. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Let's go and give it a go in the garden so we can put some, uh, put some grass. The well he's on. So I like my legs. So let's see if, we can, uh, if it's going to work. So that's working really well, we've got a decent amount of power there, even when we get it in the thick stuff, it's not killing it, it's holding its own. So all in all we've had a great result there, we've managed to uh, clean that carb out, we've made his own little filter for it, um, yeah and it's running as good as new. So if you're struggling with your, your strimmer and you're struggling to start it, you're pulling and tugging on it, give the carb a little clean. I'll put links in for the carb cleaner. Thanks for watching. Drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe.